Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hi, Alejandra. Hi. Hello, everyone. I'm sorry. I, I didn't activate my audio. <laughs> Good oh evening, my God. This is so, oh, it's so crazy. Well, I'm so crazy. <laughs> How are you, girls? I'm happy because it's Friday. <laughs> okay, yeah. Today is Friday. How about you, Alejandra? I see you're with your baby there. Okay. Yeah. I am with my baby. Okay, busy life, busy life. Right. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm using for the first time a lamp here. This lamp, I don't know if you can see it here. I, I will show you this lamp. Do you see the lamp? Yes. Okay, it's a new lamp, but I I oh, well. I didn't realize that it has, it has, let me, let me show you. It has this thing over here and it, it has this thing, right? This is the lamp, this is the lamp, but this is uncovered if you see. So I get burned, I get burned right now. Me acabo de quemar con esta laminita que trae aquí atrás. Oh my God, es primera vez que la estoy usando así. No se fijaron cuando entré, vea. No. Oh, me pegué un salto bárbaro porque sí que, que me, me quemé. Ajá. Y corrí y corrí a ponerme, aunque sea pasta dental, ok, whatever. Porque sí, oh, es que fue de veras, me levantó la bombita, mira, mira, ahí está, como levantada la bombita. Oh, God. Oh. They are dangerous. Hey, Sorry. guys, these lamps are dangerous. So if you get one, please be careful. Watch out when you touch it. Don't touch okay. it. Don't touch it. Yeah, you get burned. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you, Carlos Eduardo? Are you okay tonight? Okay. And you? I'm kind your of finger, fine. Your finger. Yes. <laughs> At this very moment, I touched a lamp. I touched a lamp, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, how are you guys? Teacher, midterm is today. It's for today. Yes, please. As soon as you can submit it, uh, Please submit it. It has to be today because tomorrow I have to send have, a report. I have to uh, instruction. Yes. This. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes, please. Okay, chicos, vamos a hablar de una cosa muy importante el día de hoy eh, acerca de los. Um, Permítanme, voy a abrir el, el chat. No sé si les mandaron a ustedes o si su contacto de recursos humanos ya les comunicó que hay que preparar ya todo, ¿verdad? Para mantener. La idea de estos cursos de Insafor, que son muy avanzados, ¿verdad? Es que permanezcamos todos, que continuemos, que seamos fieles hasta llegar hasta el, hasta el final. Oh, déjenme abrir el mensaje acá. La cuestión es que es necesario que cumplamos las fechas, ¿verdad? Que cumplamos las fechas. Entonces, uh, la fecha límite de envío de los documentos va a ser el lunes 14 de junio. ¿Ok? Uh, el correo que siempre les envían va dirigido a recursos humanos, así que ustedes eh, se ponen en contacto con la persona que está encargada en su compañía de facilitar todo este proceso. 
ok, cualquier cosa, pues siempre estamos a la orden, alguna consulta, si yo no sé la respuesta, yo les consigo la respuesta, ¿verdad? Eh, la fecha es tentativa porque puede adelantar o puede atrasar unos días, eh, sería para el 28 de junio, para el próximo módulo, ok. ¿El siempre. próximo módulo iniciaría el 28 o, o fecha límite para eh, um, entregar la documentación? No, la de, la de entrega de documentos es el lunes 14, chicos. Okay. La, la entrega de documentos es el 14. Quiere decir que para esa fecha más o menos ya sabemos quién pasa y quién no, ¿verdad? Pero aquí todos vamos bien, aquí todos vamos pasando, haciendo las tareas, participamos, tenemos la, la asistencia completa, Ok, no, de veras, este es un grupo muy bonito, todos están al pendiente y los felicito, así debe ser, y me gusta porque eh, eh, ustedes están al pendiente de todo, ¿verdad? Incluso de que yo tome la asistencia, muchas gracias, muchas gracias. Eh, a ver, ah, bueno, este... Este... Con respecto de lo de del examen, del, del examen midterm test, el que se hace cabal a la segunda semana, eh, necesito que por favor lo hagan el día de hoy, ¿verdad? Y si eh, por A o por B, imagínense que después de la clase se les va el internet y bueno, o se fue la luz o definitivamente pues tienen algún su dolor de cabeza muy fuerte y definitivamente no se puede hacer. Eh, a más tardar, lo necesito mañana a más tardar para que yo pueda salir a las 8 de la mañana. Ok. <risa> uh, pues eh, va, les vamos teacher. a dar un chancecito, va, les vamos a dar un chancecito, pero eh, ustedes no lo necesitan, ustedes son un grupo muy responsable y yo sé que lo van a hacer el día de hoy, ¿verdad? Ustedes son un grupo muy responsable, yo los felicito, estoy muy contenta con ustedes y les agradezco todo su apoyo. Eh, estamos trabajando bastante bien. Eh, bueno. Aparte de eso, creo que estamos bien. Sí, porque la fecha que les había dado era 5 de junio, se recuerdan. Pero es porque el 5 uh -huh. de junio a mí me, me presionan para que, hey, ¿qué pasó? ¿Verdad? O sea, es como la fecha de gracia, porque en realidad tiene que estar el día de hoy. Bien. Les agradezco a todos los que me comunican cuando... Eh, faltan por alguna razón porque es necesario que estemos al tanto y nos preocupa también eh, la situación de su salud más en estos tiempos verdad que pues estamos en, en época de pandemia y nadie está exenso y, y pues nosotros queremos estar conscientes somos conscientes de que esto pasa pero queremos también facilitarle las situaciones verdad F facilitarle para que usted pueda continuar pues claro, vea que, que se justifique y todo, pero eso no quiere decir que es un permiso. Eso solo se toma como una consideración al final, al ver sus notas, al ver su responsabilidad. Si le falta una milésima, ok, verdad, se tiene la consideración. Pero si imagínense, pues no reportan, no me dicen que, que por qué no vinieron y todo eso, pues ya ustedes saben que ya no son tomados en cuenta para la beca, ¿verdad? Para el próximo curso. Bien, hasta el momento creo que estamos correctos con lo que teníamos que hablar de la información de administración. Ok. Oh, ahí está. Yeah. Okay, then we're going to start taking the attendance tonight. Here we are. Alejandra, I'm sorry. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay, Alexis Antonio Sandoval Morales. Sandoval Morales. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. 
Teacher no me nombró. Gracias, Ana. Gracias. Gracias. Ok. Ana del Carmen Emilia Álvarez. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Ok. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Ok. I checked you in. So now I'm with Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. No, Astrid, ok. Uh, Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Present teacher. Ok. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present teacher. Ok. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Marín. Jose Atilio uh, Mangandi Alvarado. Oh, this is the one who's not. Okay. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramirez. Present teacher. Solo una pregunta. Jonathan estaba o no estaba? Let me see. Not. Not yet, right. Okay. Uh, Karina Noemi Alvarez Mejía. Karina yet. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Luis Roberto Mejía Menéndez. Ah, por cierto, a Luis Roberto Mejía Menéndez es el que está eh, programado para el día de ahora para la asesoría. Así que si alguien quiere ese turno, eh, va a ser bienvenido que me diga, ¿ok? María Elena Romero de Galvez. Present teacher. Nancy Iveto Barrivera. Omar Alfredo Mozo Flores. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present teacher. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present teacher. Auri Elena Segovia Rugamas. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. No está Edwin, chicos. Yo vi a Edwin que entró, ¿verdad? No entró Edwin, ok. Seguimos. Félix Moisés Blanco Araniva. No. Javier Adolfo Mendoza Toba. Ok. Ok, thank you everybody for being here on time tonight. So we are going to start uh, by the activity we changed. Do you remember? So uh, first of all, we are going to see the objective for today because we have to practice. We have to practice all the topics for unit two. So let me share the screen. Let me share the screen and let's read the objectives. Okay, here we are. What is the objective for today? Okay, the specific objective for unit two is that we 
uh, want to describe activities in present simple tense. And also we want to express necessities and obligations at the same time that we are learning how to say the frequency, the frequency of those activities in our workplace or uh, in the place where we are um, doing that activity. For example, in our homes, maybe at your children's school, so you know some other activities. And also, we learn about leisure activities. Do you remember? Leisure activities, we studied that. Uh, we learn how to say, how often do you, etc. So now let's see the class objective for today is to review and practice all the topics of unit two. So now let's see the agenda for today. First of all, let's remember that the topic where we were uh, was dates. Do you remember? Was the date? Do you remember? El último tema que estábamos viendo era cómo decir la fecha. ¿Se recuerdan? Porque ese es el, en la página 28 de nuestro manual. Ahí está ese tema precisamente para poder hablar de la agenda o para poder hablar de las actividades programadas. So esas actividades programadas se llaman scheduled activities. Scheduled activities. Entonces en nuestra agenda vamos a comenzar por esas scheduled activities y vamos a hacerlo con una actividad acerca de decir cómo se dice nuestra fecha de cumpleaños. Ok, so our warm up is to learn how uh, to say um, uh, to learn how to say when's your birthday, okay? Then we're going to learn about the yes, no questions for obligations. Let's remember how to and need to. And then we are going to have the grammar written activity for the whole unit, all the topics. Then we are going to describe activities and we are, si tenemos el tiempo todavía al final, vamos a enviarnos un email entre nosotros, okay? Vamos a enviarnos un email eh, tal y como aparece en el manual, ¿ok? Si no lo logramos, lo del email esta vez quedaría para la próxima clase el día lunes, pero lo vamos a aprender a hacer, ¿ok? Estamos eh, cabales hasta ahí. What day is today? What day is it today? June 4th. June 4th. 21. Okay, so today is June the 4th of 2021. This is the long form or the complete form to say the date. And the video conference for today is number 10. So let's start, let's start learning about how to say the date, guys. How to say the date. Porque queremos aprender a responder la pregunta, ¿verdad? When's your birthday? So, aprendamos entonces. Aprendamos entonces. Ordinal numbers. Ordinal numbers. These are the ordinal numbers. Do you see? Ordinal numbers. We don't use cardinal numbers. We use ordinal numbers to say the date. It means that we are not going to say uh, today is June 1. Mm -mm. We say today is June, June the 1st. Okay, the 1st. Ahí utilizamos la palabra the. Okay. Vamos a poner así para que ustedes vean. The. I'm sorry. Es un artículo okay, que utilizamos para decir, por decir, el primero, right? So we say the first. For example, here, for example, here, today is June the 4th. 4th, okay? Si ustedes se fijan, estos tres primeros números son totalmente diferentes, ¿verdad? A todos los demás. Do you see the others? What is the difference? Uh, they have a specific name. Okay, they have a specific a specific name. So if you see 
first. Okay, let me try to do it in another way. One second. I will try to do this. Uh, it doesn't allow me. Okay, I think now, yes. Here we are. Okay, first, lo ponemos en números. First is the word number. The word number. ¿Qué quiere decir word number? El número en letras. Word number. Word number. Quiere decir el número en letras. Ahora, ¿cómo sería entonces en números? Ah, sería one. Y le agregamos el final de la palabra. ¿Ok? ¿Cuál es el final de la palabra? Es T. Es T. ¿Ok? First. En este caso, deberíamos de, de utilizar un superíndice, ¿verdad? Para que me quedara arribita. Así como grados, ¿verdad? ¿Han visto como grados? ¿Ok? So, first. When you see a number one, a letter S, and a letter T, we say first. First. Everybody, let's say the number. First. 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 Enrollemos la lengua, enrollemos la lengua y que suene al final la T, ¿ok? Ok. Now, second. Second is the word number. Now, what's the number? It will be second. ND, right? Okay. So, what is Third. 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 Uh -huh. Third. It's a number Third. three with R D. R D. Okay. Now let's say this three numbers. Let's say this three numbers. First, second, third. Second. Okay, now if you see from number four to number 10, we add letter th two letters, th. Do you see? Th at the end. The letter T, I'm, I'm sorry, the letters TH, let me show you here, okay, have, uh, have uh, together, they have different sounds. They have different sounds, but here it has to sound like a letter Z yeah. as in mm -hmm. Spanish. But tiene que pronunciarse como una Z de español de España, okay, like this. No importa que escupan, chicos, pero hay que hacer ese sonido. A ver, everybody, blowing the air and putting your tongue between your teeth. Okay? Yes. So we have to say this. Fourth. 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 Yes, fourth. It has to sound. Tiene que sonar fourth. Fourth. Now, fourth. let's see. Number, fourth. okay, very good. Now, number five. Number five, we, we don't say five. We say fifth. 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 Okay? Fifth. 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 Sí, sí, sí. Aquí yo siempre les hago un poquito de aclaración, sí. porque nosotros los salvadoreños no pronunciamos la letra F normalmente, porque la letra F tiene un sonido así, ¿verdad? pero nosotros le hacemos soplado. No sé si cuando van a la tienda y compran fósforos, por ejemplo, ¿cómo le dice? Deme una caja de fósforo, ¿verdad? No decimos fósforos, ¿verdad? ¿Se han fijado? <risa> Por eso nos cuesta un poquito decir esta palabra, fifth, ¿ok? Nos fifth. cuesta, hay que practicar a decir la letra F, ¿ok? I want to hear you guys. Now, let's say fourth, fifth, everybody. Fourth, fourth, fifth, fifth, 
Ahora veamos el número 6 o el sexto. ¿Cómo sería? Six. Six. Very good. Now, seventh. Now, seventh. Seven, 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 En el ordinal, in the ordinal number, we drop letter E. Okay, we drop letter E. It is ninth. 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 Yes, we don't say ninth. ninth. It's difficult. So we say ninth. 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 Correct. Ninth. ninth. Yes. Ninth. What about number 10? What about number 10? Let's see the ordinal number for number 10. 10. 10. 10. Okay. But aquí no decimos 10 con T al final, sino que decimos 10. Porque 10 con una T al final es otra palabra y tiene otro significado diferente. Okay. 10 es como una tienda de campaña. Okay. Eh, como para ir a acampar. Si lo decimos con una T, vamos a decir, ahora es junio, tienda de campaña. Ok, no, ¿verdad? Vamos a decir, tenth. It has to sound that letter. Tenth. 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 There you are. Ahora, tenth. Tenth. ustedes le ponen a la par, ahí ustedes escriben los números, ok. Ella es, ese ya es su trabajo. Ok, solo les voy a poner acá el primero, que sería el de fourth. Let me see like this. Y ya ustedes saben cómo se escriben números, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo se escribiría en número este? Like this. 40 ish. Correct. There you are. Así ustedes van a ir escribiendo todos los demás. Ok. Now let's think about, let's think about what goes after 10th. What number goes after 10th? Mm -hmm. What do you think? It goes 11th, right? Do you remember? 11, aha. Uh -huh. But we add letter TH, 11th, 12th, okay. Here we write it with the letter F and TH, okay. 12th, 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 11th, 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 11 on Yes, yes, correct. So what goes after that? What goes next? 13th, right? 13th. 13th. And then we go all over to 20th. 14th. Okay. And so on. A ver, ahora ustedes díganme desde el 14, del 14 hasta el 20. Let's see. Everybody. 14th. Everybody. 14th. Te lo voy a guardar. 15th. No, no. 5th. 5th. This is 15th. 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 17, 18, 18, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20
Entonces, cambiamos esa Y por una I latina y le agregamos la E. Now let's see. Ya cuando cambiamos al 20, when we go to the number 20, we go back to first. Okay? Solo el balcón. And we say 21st. 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 22nd. 22nd. 24th. 24th. 25th. 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 Fifth. What's next? Twenty-six. Okay. It needs a dash. It needs a dash. Twenty-six. There you are. What's next? Twenty-seven. Remember the dash. Okay. Twenty. Uh huh. Twenty-eight. Twenty mm -hmm. What else? Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. Mm -hmm. And okay. we go to this one. Okay. Thirtieth. 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 30th. 30th. Y como el mes solo tiene 30, hasta 31, ¿verdad? Unos tienen 30, unos tienen 31. So, we go to 31st. 31st. Okay. Are we okay with this? Do you have any question about what we said at, the, at this moment? Questions? No questions. No questions. Okay, let's go then. Let's go then. And let's talk about the year. Even though we are not going to say the year when they ask for when's your birthday, but maybe you're going to use the year to say the current date, or maybe you're going to need this for uh, your agendas, right? For your activities. So saying the, the year saying the year, the year we can divide we can divide these amount or this number into two ciphers okay into two ciphers like this okay and we could say 20 21 okay 20 21 or we can say without dividing it and saying the complete number, the big number will be 2021, 2021. This is the current year. This is the current year, okay? Este es el año en curso. 2021 or 2021. Correct? So now, what date is it today, guys? What date is it today? Today is June 4th, mm -hmm. 2021. Okay, very good. Very good. Acordémonos que podemos utilizar la palabra the. Entonces sería June the 4th of 2021. Okay? I'm going to write it down. Pero esto es solo para las fechas completas. Okay? It will be June the 4th June the of uh -huh, of of excellent 2000 uh, they'll send right there and 21. There you are. So, this is the current date. 
This is the current date. Okay. After this explanation, after this explanation, I want you to take note about this one. Okay. I'm going to take this over here. And let's try to solve this thing. We use in, in, la preposición in, for example, para contestar, oh, let me get there. Utilizamos in para cuando es que decimos solo el mes. For example, in June, okay? Y utilizamos on cuando vamos a decir todo la fecha. For example, on Monday, um, the 4th of June or June the, the 4th, okay? Monday, on Monday, I'm sorry, June. I can, you can see, right? You can see there. Let me select this thing. I'm going to select this one and I'm taking this over here. Okay, and then you add the date for... Okay, there you are. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? What's the difference in only the month? On the complete date, correct? Okay, vamos a ver. Let's see. Let's answer these questions. When's your birthday? When's your birthday? When's your birthday? Escriban su fecha de cumpleaños. Write your, write your birthday date. I'm, I'm sorry, your birth date. No, aquí no se le está preguntando el año, solamente cuando lo celebra, ¿verdad? Porque ya al preguntarle su fecha de nacimiento es otra pregunta. Ahorita solo estamos las schedule activities. Ok. You get it, guys? When's your birthday? Ok. Mm -hmm. Now you have your date, right? Yeah. Um, it's in January 19. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Ah, let me get there. Sorry. I moved out. There we are. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. you told me. Um, lo vamos a hacer con lo que está marcado en, en el calendario. Eh, no, ahorita voy a agarrar su ejemplo y luego estamos ya con el calendario. Okay. Okay. It's in January 19. Okay. Ahí viene la primera explicación, chicos. Cuando vamos a decir la fecha de nuestro de cumpleaños, no decimos in or on, ¿ok? Simple, simplemente decimos el mes y el día, ¿ok? El mes y el, uh, sería, y el, el número del día o la fecha, ¿ok? Entonces so, quedaría, uh -huh. it's January 19. Excellent. 19th, remember, 19th. 19th. Ok. Ahora, ¿cómo sería con la fecha del calendario, chicos? It's Six. July 3rd. July 
third. Third. Okay, very good. There you are. Okay, now let's see. Um, when's your birthday, Ana del Carmen? Uh, so September 26th. September 26th. Okay, you see? Here we are. This is the way to answer when someone asks, when's your birthday, Carlos Eduardo? Uh, December 26th. Okay. We say it's... It's December 26th. Okay, there you are. Always, always the months, months are written with capital letters, okay? Capital letter for months. Also for the year, the, I'm sorry, for the days of the week, okay? Days of the week and months are written with capital letters, okay? Now, ahora, para decir estas fechas de scheduled activities, Ahí sí podemos utilizar on, ¿ok? On si sí vamos a decir la fecha con el día, ¿ok? También podríamos decirlo sin, on, utilizando solo el mes y la fecha. Ahora, si decimos solo el mes, if we say only the month, then we use in. So now let's see, when is the training? When is the training? It's July 26th. Okay, thank you. It's July the 26th. Okay. Let's see. Correct. And what day is it? What day is it July the 6th? It's Friday, Friday right? It's on Friday. Okay. There you are. When's the conference? It's July 21st. July 21st. 21. 21st. 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 Okay, there you are. So, uh, si lo decimos, alguien lo dijo con on, right? It's on Saturday. Uh huh. On Saturday, July 21st. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Now, when is the company's anniversary celebra celebration? When is the company's anniversary celebration? Mm. July 23rd. It, um, it, it, um, it's Thursday. Tuesday. Tuesday. Um. Okay, then we have to use on. Okay. It's on. It, it's on Tuesday. Uh huh. Twenty third. July. Twenty third. Okay, there you are. You see, it's nice, nice. You got it, guys. You got it. <laughs> so we're going to continue. We're going to continue with this. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Uh, uh, the conference is on Sunday, no Saturday. Let's see. Thank you very much because Saturday is here. Do you see? Yes, thank you. Hey, Juan Carlos, you are the man tonight. Yay. Thank you. Okay, then it's on Sunday. Ay, niñas, niños, solo nosotros íbamos a ir a la conferencia el sábado. <laughs> you get, okay, only Juan Carlos got the right date. <laughs> Thank you, Juan Carlos. Okay. Okay.
te hubieras cambiado ya. Ok, eso era como para terminar lo que estaba en el manual, ok, y reforzar un poquito. Ya aquí ya queda revisado. Ahora, vamos a ver acerca de las yes, no questions when we are talking about obligations and necessities, ok, and necessities. Esto es un repaso del presente simple. Así se hacen las preguntas que requieren una respuesta corta en el presente simple. ¿Cuál es la respuesta corta de estas preguntas? Yes, I do, or yes, she does, or he doesn't, right? Uh, or no, he doesn't. There you are. There you are. So it will be, for example, in number one, in number one, it says, do you have to call customers? Aha, veamos aquí un poquito la gramática. La gramática es que utilizamos el helping verb do, okay? To ask the question. And it goes at the beginning of this, of this uh, question. Do you have, sorry. Do you, aha, aquí viene el asunto. Para I, you, we, and they, we use this form of have to, okay? Have to. Do you have to, y decimos el main verb de la actividad, el verbo principal de la actividad. So, do you have to call customers? Do you have to call customers? ¿Me pueden dar algún ejemplo? Eh, como ese, un ejemplo como ese. A ver, armémoslo. Question o answer. No, no, question, question, porque estamos aprendiendo a estructurarlo. Oh, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have to visit customers? Excellent. I'm sorry, thank you. Ay, niños, si yo ya era lenta eh, con esto de la de las de mi compu, que aparte la pobrecita ya está lenta, y ahora con mi dedito así como <laughs> Okay, now let's see. Do you have to visit customers? Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much for that example. Oh, what a beautiful girl, Juan Carlos. Now, can you give do me you, a... Uh -huh. Do you send the emails? Do you send the emails? Very good. Ahora, utilicemos otro pronombre que podamos utilizar do. Remember, I, you, we, and they. Mm -hmm. Do they write the report? Excellent. Ahora, veamos qué le falta. falta exactly. Exactly. Veamos qué les falta a estos dos, ¿ok? A estos dos para que sean una obligation, para que sean obligación. Mm -hmm. Do, do you have to? Uh -huh. send? Excellent. Now let's see about this one. Do they have to write it? Correct, report. because it's plural, we use have to, okay? Have to. Now, estas preguntas se responden si es positivo, diríamos yes. Como me están preguntando, do you, podríamos decir, yes, I, I do. do. Ok. I do. Y si fuera que it's not an obligation for me, then I answer, no, I, I don't. don't. Ahora, cuando yo digo no, I don't, ok, se requiere muchas veces como una explicación, ¿verdad? 
Entonces, ¿qué es lo que usted hace, verdad? Entonces, ¿cuál es su obligación? For example, do you have to call customers? Uh, yes, I do. Simple, right? Now, do you have to call customers? No, I don't. I, ahí pongo un punto y seguido, and then I say, I have to, y digo, ¿cuál es mi obligación? I have to visit customers, okay? Do you get it? Esto es como dando una explicación a no, I don't. Ok. No es necesaria, pero si se le, si en el momento se requiere, esta es la manera. Ok. Now, let's see. Do you have to visit customers? If it is an obligation, then we answer yes. I do. If it is not an obligation, then I say, no, I don't, okay? Now, continue with the other one. Do you have to send the emails? Do you have to send the emails? If it is an obligation, what will be the answer? What is the answer for positive? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Excellent. Then, if it is not an obligation, no, no, I don't. I don't. And this is the way to answer, okay? This is the way to answer. Now, what about, do they have to write a report? Then we say, yes, what? Yes, do. Yes, they yes, do. Yes, I do. Yes, they, they, do. they. They do. All right. And if it is not a, uh, it, 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 this is not their obligation, then we answer. No, they don't. No, they don't. Correct. No, they don't. Correct. There you are. Now let's think about the third person, guys. Let's think about the third person. Aquí, lo que ustedes deben de tomar en cuenta es que we are going to use we are going to use the helping verb for the third person. What is that? Does. Does. Karina is she, right? Karina is she. Pero no vamos a poner has to. No vamos a poner has to. ¿Por qué? Porque ya tenemos does aquí que lo hace una tercera persona. ¿Correcto? Entonces, utilizamos de esta manera. Does Karina have to, okay? Does Karina have to send the promotional emails? Does Karina have to send the promotional emails? Does Karina have to send the promotional emails? ¿Y cómo sería la respuesta? What will be the answer for that? If it is Karina's obligation, then we are going to say? Yes, she does. Yes, yes she does. Okay, excellent. Oh, uh -huh. Yes, Karina does. Okay, very good, Maria Elena. Good point. So, if not, if it is not an obligation, no. She doesn't. Correct. She does. Okay. Y aquí, por ejemplo, si, es, si no es Karina la que lo hace, y cuando yo doy la respuesta negativa, aún queda como el vacío de, decir, de explicar entonces quién, right? So, entonces decimos, uh, for example, Carla does, ¿ok? Carla does. ¿Y see? Sí? Uh, I'm going to put it down. Ahora, ¿cuál es lo importante acá? Que en la respuesta no vamos a, a responder, no, she has, ¿ok? No, she has not. No vamos a decir eso. Vamos a decir, no, she doesn't. ¿Ok? ¿Ok? Ok. Ok, then. Ya que hemos hecho eso. Vamos, por favor, a la parte de uh, la actividad que les envié. Ok. This is the activity. Do you remember?
¿Qué teníamos que hacer acá? What do we have to do here? What do we have to do? We have to complete the blanks. We have to complete the blanks, okay? With the correct form of the verbs have to, okay? The verb have to. So number one, today is a holiday. I, if it is a holiday, I, I have, 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 have to work. Good to work. Ah, acuérdense que para negativo vamos a usar así. I, let, let me, let me use this. Okay, for the negative. Uh -huh. Exactly, there you are. I don't have to, I don't have to go to work. Okay, now number two. Se parece That's a la que acabamos. Sister? Exactly. Uh -huh. Have to go to school today. Excellent. Yes. I to go to school today. Excellent. Number three. My mother has to. Has, has to. Excellent. Number four. Okay. I have to. There you are. Number five. This is a question. Okay. They mm -hmm. have to. They have to. They have okay. to. They have to. Excellent. Excellent. What about the answer? What about the answer? They just they do. Okay. Hey. Number six. Number six. But they but have to. Has to. Okay. They do a storm. Are you sure it is positive? Are you sure it is positive? Any uh, has to. Has to. Has to. Any has to. Why See affirmative? Go. Why affirmative? Because here it says he can take a bus. So uh, number six. Number six. Uh huh. Patrick doesn't have to drive to the store. Correct. There you are. Correct. Now, number seven. Annie has to see a doctor. Okay. Has to. Now let's see. Excuse me. No. Have to. That's it. I have to. Because you say, oh, excuse me. I have to answer my phone. Okay. There you are. Next, number nine. Do you have it, Alejandra? Number nine. Um, have have to. Okay, number nine. It's a question, and we use a helping verb here. Okay. Do. Uh huh. Do how to okay you have to excellent. Have excellent. excellent do you have to leave have soon? To leave soon okay number okay, 10 number 10 My friend could be he or could be she. Has to, right? Uh, this is going to move. Here we are, okay? 
Now, number 11, can you tell me number 11? Camels, camels, oh. los camellos, oh. right? Oh. Three yes, water, because it's plural, okay. Camels have to, have to, have to. okay. Have to. Uh, is it positive or is it affirmative? I'm sorry, is it affirmative or, or negative? It's affirmative. Is it affirmative? Affirmative. Mm, 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 mm. Well, I think it is negative, okay? I think it is negative porque eh, la idea es que los camellos no tienen que tomar agua por un largo tiempo, right? Sí. Agarran la idea? Camels doesn't have to drink water for a long time. Camel don't drink water for a long time. Okay. Yo tomé esa idea. Ahora, la idea que ustedes tienen creo que es más correcta todavía porque dice camels si ustedes me dijeron afirmativo al principio dice camels uh -huh, have to drink water for a long time se tardan tomando el agua uh -huh. largo tiempo uh -huh. Okay, let's write it down in negative. Let's write it down in negative and let's read it. Okay, let's see. Will be don't um, they have to uh, don't have to. Okay. Don't have to. Mm -hmm. A mí me suena más así en negativo. ¿Cómo les suena a ustedes? En negativo o en afirmativo? Negative. And negative? Okay. Let's leave it like that at the moment. Later we're going to we're going to review. Now let's see. My sister, my sister, is has she, to, right? Has to. Excellent. Excellent. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Next one. Next one. Astronauts. Astronauts. Um, have to. Have to. Excellent, because it's plural, so we use have to, okay? Now, I'm going to erase these things to yes. continue with number 14, okay? Does. Does have okay, just let me get there because I don't see it at the moment. Now, let's see. And let's move a little this thing. Excellent. Number 14. Mm -hmm. Correct. Has to. Excellent. Pero la respuesta, ¿cómo sería? What will be the answer? Yes, he does. Yeah, he does. does. Okay. Does. Yes, he does. So, uh, letter A says, says um, does he have to study now? Yes, he does. Number 15. Do you, do you really have, have to make so much? Okay. Do you really have to make so much noise? Do you really have to make so much noise? 
Okay, there we are. There we are. Excellent. So we finished this grammar activity. Now let's see. Ahora que ya lo hicimos, a ver, ¿cuántas más o menos les salieron buenas? ¿Y cuántas más o menos habían hecho malos que lo habían hecho? Twelve correct. Twelve correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you got an 80, okay? Cada, cada una valía, podríamos ponerle el valor, ¿verdad? <clears throat> Como de 15, right? There you are. Let's see about the camels, about the camels. Uh, it was number six. What number was uh, the camels? 11. 11, let's see, 11. Yeah, I remember up just a little, but it's because of the sins, okay? And we say negative, right? Don't have to. Don't have to is the correct thing, okay? Don't have to. Camels don't have to uh, drink water for a long time. Okay, at this moment, it's time for taking the attendance. Let me go there and get it para que vayamos a practicar okay uh, ahí en la en la plataforma les puse una discusión eh, bueno dice eh, pregunta um, en el donde vamos a platicar o donde yo quisiera que chateáramos ahora este día acerca de um, what's your schedule like, ok? Así que pueden empezar a revisarlo mientras yo tomo la asistencia, ok? Es en la clase de hoy. I think it is number 10, right? So let's see. Alejandra Vanessa Rodríguez. Present teacher. Ok. Alexis Antonio Sandoval Morales. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Present teacher. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Present teacher. Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. Jonathan Ernesto Fuentes Marín. José Atilio Mangandi Alvarado. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present teacher. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Luis Roberto Mejía Menéndez. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Present teacher. Nancy Beto Barrivera. Present teacher. Okay. Omar Alfredo Mozo Flores. Present teacher. Okay, thank Present. you, Nancy. Thank you, Omar. Present teacher. Thank you, Omar. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present. Aurielena Segovia Rugamas. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present. Félix Moisés Blanco Araniva. Jos, uh, perdón. Uh, Javier Adolfo Mendoza Tobar. Okay, let's continue, guys, because we have some things to do. Uh, before going to the breakout room, um, let's continue where we were at that moment. And let me go just one second. Mm 
Y vamos a hacer un pequeño repasito, ¿ok? Vamos a hacer un pequeño repasito acerca de los ad, uh, frequency adverbs, ¿ok? Frequency adverbs. What do we have to do here? Unscramble the sentences. Unscramble the sentences. What does it mean? We have to put in order. We have to order the sentences, ¿ok? They are all mixed up. They are all mixed up. So, for example, number one. Let's read number one because it is scramble, right? It's scramble. Uh -huh. Does Maria? Uh -huh. Never on weekends. Does Maria never? Is it a question or is it a sentence? Question. I don't think it is a question because there is no question mark over here. There is no question mark. Do you see? No hay signo de interrogación, right? So, they are sentences. And here it says, unscramble the sentences. Ah, so they are not questions. Okay. Pongamos en orden estas, estas oraciones. ¿Con qué comenzamos una oración? ¿Con qué comenzamos una oración? María. María. With the subject. Okay, who's the subject here? María. 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 Never that. No. No. Ajá. María das. María das never. Let's remember, let's remember the frequency adverbs, placement. Where do I have to put the frequency adverb in a sentence? After the subject, right? So, Maria. Never, never does homework on weekend. Okay, never does. What? English. Homework. English homework. Okay. On weekend. On weekend. Excellent. Setting Maria. But this is another Maria, okay, Maria Elena? Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, guys. Number two. Let's see who's the subject here. Who are the subjects? Chad and Mario. Always, always. Supervise, overdo, supervise, supervise, and play on Sunday. Okay, again. Chad and Mario. And Mario. Do. Always. Do always. Mm -hmm. Always. Mm -hmm. Do. Uh -huh. Zach and Mario do always. Zach and Mario always do always. supervised production employees on Sunday. Always. Um, ahí hay algo de más, ¿ok? Ah, esa es otra cosa, que en estas... Pueden encontrar palabras que no están dentro de la okay. oración, ¿ok? Ah, en esta lo dice, la cascarita, ¿ok? Reproduction. Ajá. Employers. Zach and Mario always. Supervisors, the production employees. Is it correct like this? Y el do? Do is not included. Es una cáscara ahí. Okay. On Sunday. On Sunday. Zach and Mario always supervise the production employees on Sunday, okay? 
Is it correct? Okay. Yes, it is. So okay. number three. Sometimes um, your English teacher mm -hmm. speak Chinese. Okay. Sometimes, uh huh. Your your English teacher mm -hmm. speaks speak speak Chinese. Okay. This is kind of a joke. <laughs> Don't you find it funny? We don't. We don't. We don't. This client on Monday. This client on Monday. We don't. This client on Mondays. Okay. There you are. Number five. Martin, don't uh, uh, report and sales every day. Don't or doesn't? Doesn't. doesn't. Okay. Martin. Oh. Mm -hmm. hmm, this is a different thing. No me lo da. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to use that uh, type of letter. Okay, Martin. Uh huh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Marty. Martin. Dustin. 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 And report every day. Report and. Doesn't send what? Doesn't send. Sarah's report every day. Excellent. There you are. Okay. Ahora va a ser su turno. Now it is your turn and we are going to split into the breakout rooms and you are going to complete. Okay. You are going to complete the, um, the sentences. Okay. I'm sorry, you are going to answer with a complete sentence, okay? With a complete sentence. We are not going to say uh, sometimes, uh, every day, no. We are going to write a complete sentence for answer. For example, let's do number one. How often do you call client, clients? I'm sorry, do you call clients? I mm -hmm. do, do. I. I don't sometimes call clients. Don't you call clients? I sometimes. sometimes. Ah, sometimes. okay. Mm -hmm. Do call clients. call clients. Okay, there you are. And so on. Okay, and so on. It's the same thing. You are going to use this adverbs of frequency. Okay? Or time expressions. And the last thing, okay? Vamos a tomar quizás unos, uh, serían unos, como en cuánto cree que lo hacen? Como en unos cinco minutos? Tres. Okay, okay, there you are. So, let me send this light and we're going to split up let's split up we are okay
there you go. I'm going to send the slide. Carlos Eduardo, are you there? Omar Alfredo? Yes, teacher. Okay, uh, didn't you receive the invitation? It's raining here. Oh, okay, but did it's you receive- It's raining here. Oh. Uh, I, I, get, I get out for the clothes. Oh, Excuse okay. Me. Now let me check what room. You were, let's see, Carlos Eduardo and Omar Alfredo, right? So let's think. Uh, mm. I, I watch in, uh, the WhatsApp teacher. Uh, mm -hmm. um, I'm watching the, um, the photo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so now you have the picture. Yeah, yes. But uh, didn't you receive the invitation, Omar, to join to room eight? Did you? Recibió la invitación, Omar? Oh, uh, yes, yes, ahorita. Okay. Right now, right now. Okay. Sure. Hello. Hi. Continue, continue, guys. I want to hear you. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, no, no, no sabemos si es más o menos así. Uh -huh. O al menos es you sería your your everyday. Your boss. Your boss. Uh -huh. Your boss every day. No, your boss send every day. Yeah. Your boss every day sends you boss in me. Your okay. Boss in. Okay, let's read the question. Let's read the question because that's not the answer. So let's uh, see. How often does the, your boss send you an email? How often does your boss send you an email? So, for example, let's let's think. Let's think. Your boss could be he or could be she, right? Is uh, it? He. Si usted pone he o pone um, uh, she. she está bien, okay? Oh, okay. 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 Uh -huh. Es que uh -huh. eso se puede hacer de dos maneras, okay? Eso se puede hacer de dos maneras. Podríamos, ah, voy a, a agarrar un, déjame, déjame, déjame. díganme su idea primero, tell me your idea first, and then I'm going to tell you. Um, uh -huh. 
your 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 every boss, day. your boss every your boss send every day and an email no oh. okay your boss uh huh bye ahí dice your boss uh -huh. your boss de quién es el jefe suyo verdad sí de, suyo. de él digamos no 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 suyo <laughs> Ah, vaya, pues, Ajá, because it no, says your pero, boss. Ajá, que si yo digo your boss, estoy hablando de él. O sea, de él, de your. De, si yo digo. Ajá. Ajá, pero si usted dice es mío. Exactly, no? exactly. Ajá. Ahí está el punto. Uh -huh. if, if you say your boss to me, then it's my boss, right? Ah, it's my ah. boss. If I sí. say your boss, it's your boss. Your okay? Boss. Entonces, ¿cómo tendríamos que responder? Ah, tendríamos que responder my boss en primera persona, ¿no? My boss. Uh -huh. Ajá. My, ah, my boss send every, every day. day. Send. Or my bo ¿A my quién boss, le envía? Send. A my boss send email. Me. Send me. Send me. Send me. Okay. Ah, ten, send me. Ajá. Email every day. Excellent. There you are. My boss. Ahora, veamos el detalle. My boss es tercera persona. Uh -huh. Correcto. Entonces, ¿qué le falta a este verbo? P. Letter S. Ok. My boss sends me an uh. email every day. Correct. My boss. Uh -huh. is, thanks me. My boss. Uh -huh. Thanks uh -huh. me. Uh -huh. Oh, unido. I should send me. No, sends. 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 Porque es tercera persona. It's third person. Sends me uh -huh. every day in May. En May. Sería así, no. No, lo que yo les decía es que puede ser she o puede ser he. Ok. Dependiendo, porque si uh -huh. usted me va a decir de su propio jefe, usted me dice si es he uh -huh. o si es she. Ah. Ah. Uh -huh. Pero entonces no sería así, my boss and me. Send ¿Cómo me? no? ¿Cómo okay. no? Pero depende. Ajá. Ok, en este caso, eh, mira cómo yo lo he escrito arriba. Se mira lo que yo escribí. Uh, arriba, ¿a dónde? <ríe> no se mira. No. no. Ah, no. yo tengo anotación, pero no tengo entonces compartir. Quizá, ¿cómo no? I have share screen. No. Let me go here. Let me see. Ah, sí, 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 sí. Ah, hasta que se le da enter. Ok. Uh, Until you click me. enter. Uh -huh. And. Email. Ok. Uh -huh. My boss ah. sends me an email. Ah, llevo agregada uh -huh. la S y, y el and. Sí. Por ser tercera Sense. persona. Ajá, ajá. Ok. Y sí, o cheer. Depende. Correct. So my boss sends, sends me an email every day. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the other is how often do you attend my meeting? Attend meetings. Attend meetings. Uh huh. Uh, I mm -hmm. occasionally I attend meetings. Yes. I occasionally attend a mirror. Attend a mirror. I occasionally. Occasionally. Attend meetings. Attend meetings. 
Occasionally. Yes. Okay, guys, you are doing a good job. So I'm going to another room. Okay, continue working. Okay. Keep it up. Thank sure. you, teacher. How often do I always use a computer? How often do you work extra hours? I won't. A weekend extra hours. Is your question? Um, number. Okay, number, tell me. Uh, and, and number two. Yeah. Number, number and, two. In the, and, in the uh, every day. Yes. Okay, uh huh. What is the question uh, there? Is every day STEM? And email. Uh, oh, wait, 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 every wait. day. Uh huh. Okay. I, yeah. I every day send uh -huh. you an email. Okay, let's see here. Let's see. How often does your boss send you an email? How often does your boss send you an email? Okay, let's see. First, what do you have to know? What are we talking about? Or I mean, who, who, uh, your boss, okay? Pero como yo le digo, su jefe, usted cómo respondería? Uh, your my. boss. Okay, no, 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 my, my boss, my, okay? My boss. Okay, your boss para la respuesta en la pregunta, ¿verdad? But in the respuesta, in the answer, we will write my boss, okay? Y es una tercera persona, ¿verdad? Es una tercera persona. ¿Cuál es la acción? What is the activity here? What is the activity? Sí. Sí. Okay, sí. then for the third person, let's remember to add letter S, right? Sen. Sí. Okay, sends, uh -huh. sends an email. Well, we could write it uh, like this. Sends me, uh, well, we could say sends me because they are asking you here, right? It becomes in me. Mm -hmm. An email, and then we use the word in parentheses. What is the word in parentheses? Every day. Every day. Okay. Every day. There you are. So your boss in the question uh, becomes my boss in the answer. Okay. 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 Thank you, teacher. Thank there you teacher. are. There you are. So did you finish? Finish? Yes. Okay, guys. Yeah. Then we are going to go back to the main room, okay? So let me get here. Let's do this here. Hey, Vladimir, where are you? He's gone, Vladimir. <laughs> oh, Vladimir got disconnected. <laughs> oh, oh no, we were por WhatsApp. Por WhatsApp mandó eh, un... Ya estamos todos, ma. Yeah. Okay, okay, un <laughs> hey, Nancy and me were over there and suddenly Kevin disappeared, right? Disappeared. And then we said, oh, 
Kevin got disconnected. No, we didn't leave the room. <laughs> oh my God. We were alone there. Oh my God. Thank you, Kevin, for telling us. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, this is funny. This is funny. Okay, guys, let's start. Let's start. Number one, number one. Uh, let's see, Raquel ask the question and Karina answers, okay? Number one. How often do you call clients? Mm -hmm. I sometimes call clients. Thank you very much. Now, uh, let's see, Kevin and Karina. Number two. Uh, no, no, I'm sorry, Kevin and Nancy, because Karina said it. <laughs> okay, Kevin and Nancy. Um, Number two, two the question. How often, how mm -hmm. often does your boss send you an email? Okay. Mm -hmm. Ron send me an email every day. Okay, very good. So everybody has the same answer? Does everybody have the same answer? Yes? Okay, now let's see. Astrid, number three, and Carlos answers. How often do you attend a meeting? I occasionally attend a meeting. Okay, thank you. Uh, now let's see, Carla and Giovanni. Carla asks the question, Giovanni answers. How often do you use a computer? A computer. A computer. I use a computer all the way. Okay, let's remember the position of the adverbs of frequency. I always use a computer or always I use a computer, but we don't say I use a computer and at the end always, okay? Because that's another meaning and it is not correct. It is not correct, okay? It doesn't sound good. Remember for the collocations that I said, do you remember the example about Blanco y Negro? Okay, cuando decimos negro y blanco, pues no suena muy bonito, okay? There you are. Okay, so we finish, right? Or there is one missing, I think. Let's see. Uh, yes, uh, we have the last one, the last one. Let's see. Ana Cristina and... And Ana del Carmen. And Ana del Carmen. How often do you work extra hours? Extra hours. Extra, extra hours. hours. Extra, extra hours. hours. I own set a week work extra hours. Very good because of the rule, right? Because of the rule. But once a week is not an adverb of frequency exactly it is a time expression so we can use it at the end right i work extra hours once a week okay i work wow. extra hours once a week because it's a time expression it's not an adverb of frequency okay then everybody get it or do you have any question teacher i have teacher. a question yes tell me uh, for example, in, in the number two, uh -huh. um, uh, how often does your boss send you email, an email? Uh, uh -huh. I can say I every day res receive an email of my boss. Uh, of my boss, not from my boss. But yes, from you can boss. say that. You can say it is grammarly correct. Okay. It's grammarly correct, but it's better if you say uh the subject at the beginning and then you say um the verb or the activity and then you say the time expression okay es mejor si lo ordenamos 
por lo mismo que decimos, ¿verdad? se oye más bonito, ¿ok? Se oye como más acostumbrado. Decir, my boss sends me an email every day. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher, thank you. Ok, you're welcome. Teacher, mm -hmm. uh, the question, uh, number five, uh -huh. in, cor is correct I work once a week extra hours. Yes? Again, again. Number five. Uh -huh. uh, I work on a uh, week extra hours. Uh, well, the position or the placement of the time expression is better at the end. Okay, it's better at the end. Once a week is not an adverb of frequency. It is a time expression. La time expression, usted la puede poner al final, mejor. Okay. Oh, okay, ahí okay. suena, ahí suena bien. Ahora, el adverbio de frecuencia sí va después del sujeto y antes del verbo. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, there you are. So, what will be the correct answer for number five? Uh huh. I. I. Uh huh. Work extra hours once a week. Excellent. There you are. I work extra hours once a week. Okay, thank you. Okay, good. Okay, guys, I think we did a little review in here about grammar and written things. Let's remember to go to the simple. Every time that they ask you a question, always go back to the simple. ¿Cómo es ir a lo simple? Ah, estructuremos en nuestra cabeza y hagámoslo como en un orden que va a ser siempre así, ¿verdad? Que no cambie, por lo menos mientras nos acostumbramos, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a ir a lo simple. What's the simple thing here? Una oración completa. ¿Cómo es una oración? A subject, a verb, and a complement. A subject, a verb, and a complement. Always. Order your mind, focus your mind in a simple sentence to give an answer, ¿ok? Bien, ahora vamos a irnos a revisar un poquito, ¿ok? De todo lo que hemos visto y vamos a hacer lo que les decía. Un párrafo, a paragraph, ¿ok? Just remember these questions. Solo acordémonos de estas preguntas. Okay. Who wants to read number one? What what your schedule like? What's your schedule like? What's your schedule like? A ver quién who wants to read it again? Who wants to? Okay, I'm going to say names. Let's see Edwin. Read the number one. And the one in the blue box. What's your schedule like? Thank you. And the black box, Kevin? Um, when do you have lunch? Excellent. Now let's see uh, Karina, the, the yellow one. What time does your boss have lunch? Thank you. Now let's see. Um, Juan Carlos, the pink one. When do you check your email? Very good. Now let's see Rachel, Raquel, this one, mm. the soft. Do you get up early? Okay, do you get up early? Okay, and then we use time expressions. Let's remember the time expressions on weekdays, on weekends, on Mondays or any days, any day of the week, right? During the week, during the weekend, in the morning, at noon, in the afternoon, in the evening, at night, every day, every week, every weekend, every Friday, once, twice, three times a day. This slide is a summary, okay? This slide is a summary. This slide is a summary. Este es un resumen que les va a ayudar 
para que ustedes puedan hacer su párrafo. Acuérdense que como estamos siguiendo a lo simple, ¿verdad? Si yo contesto una de estas preguntas, ya tengo una actividad para mi, para mi párrafo, para decir lo que yo hago. ¿Ok? ¿Correcto? Y puedo usar estas time expressions. Así como los párrafos que hemos visto que la gente, eh, que los ejemplos que hemos puesto, por ejemplo, Jackie's schedule. And uh, I think it was Mr. Wilson uh, activities. Do you remember? Okay, we have these other questions and I'm going to send them. Okay, what's your daily routine? What's your daily routine? Aha, uh -huh. now this one. What's her daily routine? Excellent. Next one. What, what has has daily routine? routine? Okay, next one. What, what do what you do on weekends? weekends? Excellent. This one. What, what does your wife do on weekends? Okay, these are very interesting questions. Okay. De estas ustedes pueden utilizar para ir haciendo su párrafo con lo que contestarían, ¿ok? Con la respuesta, con el, la oración que contestarían. Vamos a escuchar la historia de Jackie, ¿ok? Jackie Schedule. For you to remember, for you to remember how to say what's your schedule like? What's your schedule like? ¿Ok? Jackie is very busy. She gets up at 6 a.m. on weekdays. Then she brushes her teeth and gets dressed. After that, she has a quick breakfast and goes to the gym. After the gym, she takes a shower and gets dressed to go to work. Then she drives to work. She gets to work at 9 a.m. At work, she has meetings, makes phone calls, and prepares documents. At 1 p.m., she has lunch. Sometimes she has business lunches with her clients. After lunch, she goes back to work. She finishes work around 7 p.m. Then she goes home. She gets home around 8 p.m. She has dinner, watches TV, and sometimes she likes to read. After that, she takes a shower and goes to bed around 11 p.m. Okay, let's remember the questions. What time does Jackie have lunch? Uh huh. What is the answer? What is the answer for at, that question? 1 p.m. At, <clears throat> at 1 p.m. At 1 p.m. Okay. Jackie has lunch at 1 p.m. Excellent. That's the point. Let's go back to simple. To structure a sentence for a complete answer. So we have to structure in our uh, minds, Jackie has lunch at 1 p.m., okay? Jackie has lunch at 1 p.m. Okay, now let's listen to the next question. Does Jackie finish work at 6 p.m.? Mm -hmm. Does Jackie finish work at 6 p.m.? Um, no, she don't. No, she? No, she doesn't. 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 Uh -huh. Jackie finish work around, work around 7 p.m. Okay. okay. No, she doesn't. Everybody? No, no she, she doesn't. doesn't. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. She finishes she work, work around, 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 around 7, 7 p.m. Let's, Let's listen to the answer. Let's listen to the no, answer. No, she doesn't. She finishes work around 7 p.m. Okay. Do you want to uh, listen to that again? Let's play it again. Okay. Jackie is very busy. She gets up at 6 a.m. on weekdays. Then she brushes her teeth and gets dressed. After that, she has a quick breakfast and goes to the gym. After the gym, she takes a shower and gets dressed to go to work. Then she drives to work. She gets to work at 9 a.m. 
At work, she has meetings, makes phone calls, and prepares documents. 1 p.m., she has lunch. Sometimes, she has business lunches with her clients. After lunch, she goes back to work. She finishes work around 7 p.m. Then, she goes home. She gets home around 8 p.m. She has dinner, watches TV, and sometimes she likes to read. After that, she takes a shower and goes to bed around 11 p.m. What time does Jackie have lunch? Jackie has lunch at, lunch 1 at 1 p.m. At 1 p.m. Does Jackie finish work at 6 p.m.? Oh, she no, she doesn't. No, she, doesn't. she finishes work around, around 7 p.m. Okay, there you are. So now let's go to the platform. Let's go to the platform. Hmm, I've got this trouble. <laughs> Are you in? Are you in already? Are you in yet? Yes. Okay. The activity says in the class number 10, go over there and let's go to the discussion down there, okay? Okay, here we are. Okay, then the question here is, what's your schedule like? And then the instruction, the instruction says, write a five lines paragraph describing your daily activities. Use as much vocabulary as you want, okay? You get it? Do you have a question about that? Ok, en este mismo momento empecemos a escribir su propia daily routine, ok, your own daily routine, tomando el ejemplo de Jackie y el ejemplo de Mr. Wilson que tenemos en el manual, ok, and let's start, I want to see now. Teacher, uh -huh. lo vuelvo a hacer. Es que ya, ya lo había mandado. Lo mandó, no lo, no lo veo. Permítame. Oh, I have two here. Okay. There you are. Very good, Juan Carlos. Very good. Ajá. Just remember, I have lunch, okay? I have lunch at one o'clock p.m., right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Now let's see who else did it. Okay. Mm 
says only Juan Carlos at this moment. Mm -hmm. You did a good job, Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos, dele edit y agreguele frequency adverbs. Use todo el vocabulario que usted quiera o que pueda practicar. Okay. 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 There you go. Mm -hmm. Tennis. Huh? Do you play tennis? Mm -hmm. I get it. Um, if you want me to see it and you have questions, I, um, check at response and submit. I think it says, and then uh, ask ask me the question, and I will help you out. And then you click on edit. Okay. Usted me puede hacer la pregunta, pero mándelo. Póngale ahí submit para que yo pueda ver y le pueda ayudar.
Okay, people. It's 10 o'clock right now. It's 10 o'clock. It's time to take the attendance and it the uh, and the time is over. So could you finish? O no hay problema que nos pasemos unos minutitos de las 10 para que lo terminen. O me lo envían o me lo pueden enviar durante el fin de semana si ustedes quieren. Se lo voy a enviar, teacher. Ok, ok. Yo, yo también. <laughs> ok. Ok, but uh, if you have questions, please tell me now. Tell me now. I can help you out with your questions. Ok. Thank you. I think so. Yes, because... Um, yes, because... Um, yeah, yeah, it, it is okay, yeah, Ana Cristina. I'm sorry. Okay, Cristina. okay, who was going to ask the question? One question. Tell me. Eh, pero es, es con relación a las preguntas. No me quedó claro la, la respuesta de las dos. Okay. En el ejercicio anterior. Uh -huh. No sé si lo vemos después. Uh, no, at, at this moment, well. For me, it's not a it's not a problem. Let's see. Oh, ah, okay. Solo la, la pregunta, teacher, este, uh -huh. hizo mención a, a, a cómo sería uh -huh. the correct answer and cómo se vería mejor. Okay. Uh, number two. Ah, porque Omar, Omar me preguntó la forma en que él había estructurado. Ok. okay. Omar te, tiene una forma particular porque él es bastante fluido, la verdad. Pero él, eh, lo que yo le decía era que volviéramos a lo simple para que estructuremos la oración gramaticalmente para que nuestro cerebro se vaya acostumbrando, ¿verdad? Porque estamos en los primeros niveles conociendo las estructuras. Por eso es mi, mi tip de esa manera. Ahora, veamos la respuesta. Tell me the, the question again. How often? How often does your boss uh -huh. send your an email? Ok. Then, para responder, vamos a responder con una oración, right? So, what is the subject for that sentence? What is the subject for that sentence? It will be your boss, right? Your boss. Pero como le estoy preguntando a usted, okay? My boss. Usted, yes. If you answer, then it will be my boss. Mm -hmm. Now, this is third person. So we need to use the, um, the verb form for the third person, adding letter S at the end. Adding letter S at the end. So my boss, Sends, y como en la pregunta decía, send you, ¿verdad? Send then, you an, an email. Okay, then in the answer, sends me an email. There you okay. are. And okay. then I add the time expression. In this case, every the time day. expression is every day. All right, there you go. So this is the correct answer. This is for, it sounds... Uh, and I grammatically, think, it is the same. Yes, grammarly is correct. Mm -hmm. This is the correct uh, answer, Grammarly. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Grammatically. You, okay, there you are. I don't remember very well the, the way that Omar said, but it was correct in the spoken language. Uh, I think he said every day. Omar, are you there? Do you remember what you said? Para ayudarle a Carlos Eduardo a entenderlo. And uh, number two. Ajá. Uh -huh. Oh, um, 
Okay, uh, I I I have a um I every day receive mm -hmm. on email of uh, from my boss. I receive. Oh, okay, we could write it at the beginning every day. Uh huh. Uh, incluso hablado no suena mal que dijera I every day receive, okay, an email from teacher, my one, boss. One question, mm -hmm. teacher, every day este puede ir al en, en, en final. Yes, of course, yes, mm -hmm. because it's a time expression, it can be at the end of the sentence. Also, it can be at the beginning, right, every day I receive an email from my boss, okay. So this is kind of the spoken form, okay? The spoken form. And it is good. It is good. Both is correct? Both are correct, yes. Both are correct. Mm -hmm. Both are correct, but I think, I think, uh, <laughs> yes, because of the order, okay? Well, uh, be, it will be, the subject, after it goes the verb, and then it goes the time expression, okay? Yes. Like following the rule, following the rule, right? Mm -hmm. okay, thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Okay, my it's pleasure, clear. guys. Okay, good. Good. Do you have any other question or are we okay? Um, teacher, um, I Coming. have a problem with the, my email. Can I send tomorrow? Uh, with the platform? Yeah. yeah okay. Monday. Uh, okay. you can send send it during the weekend. Okay, in in okay. your in your free time. Yeah, in your free time you can uh you can uh, Answer, okay. Answer the question. Okay. What's your schedule like? I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. There you are. So, guys, uh, Anna Cristina wants to stay, so I think time is over, and let's meet us. Let's meet us on Monday, right? Let's meet us on Monday. So, have a good night. Okay. Bye. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Remember to submit your remember to submit your test. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, there Thank you are. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Teacher good night. <gasps> okay, there you are. Mm -hmm. I was gonna take it. Well, I'm gonna take it manually, okay? Okay. Sorry. Good night. Good night. I will take the attendance. Yeah. Astrid, Astrid, I'm going to check you in, okay? I'm going to check you in. Don't worry. There you are. Good night. Ay, qué pena. Yes, I took twice, but okay, you know the rules here. Yeah. I'm going to send a note. I'm going to send a note. Okay, here we are. Just allow me one moment. Allow me one moment. I'm kind of like I'm kind of like Okay, Ana Cristina, tell me. Okay, okay Ana Cristina. Tell me. me perdí, por eso me quedé, porque no entendí lo del correo. Porque uh, veo, entre la plataforma, uh, pero veo que están contestando como algo que preguntó. No sé si yo entré mal o dónde tengo que enviar el correo. Ah, uh, ok, bye. Eso no uh, es un correo. <laughs> Esa no parte es, un correo. es una Esa discusión. discusión. Déjeme compartirle la pantalla, okay. déjeme llegar ahí. Okay. 
Ahí está. Ok, usted tiene que llegar a la okay. que usted tiene que llegar a la Entra a la plataforma, ¿verdad? Entra a la plataforma, ¿verdad? Y luego entra aquí. Y luego entra aquí. A la videoconferencia número 10, que todavía no tenemos el video de hoy. Todavía no tenemos el video de hoy. Pero tenemos nuestra discusión. Pero tenemos nuestra discusión. And here you are going to find the question. And here you are going to find the question. What's your schedule like? Yeah. What's your schedule like? Allí voy a poner mis actividades. Exactly. Here exactly. you will find the instructions. It says write a five lines paragraph describing your daily activity. Use as much vocabulary as you want. Okay. But five lines is okay. Okay. If, you, okay. if you need to add some more, if it's you need better because you, more, practice. it's better because you practice. Okay. Okay. And then you submit. Yes. And then you submit your sí. recent yes. here. here. Donde decía discusión. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Y veo que están contestando algo. Yo no he contestado eso. Es esto. Ahí donde dice discusión, usted entra. O sea, vio que estamos hasta abajo, abajo del video. En, en videoconferencia. Ok. Entonces, abajo del video, usted va a encontrar esta, este cuadro que se llama discusión. Aquí está lo que usted tiene que hacer. Ok. Y luego, para poder dar su respuesta o para escribir su párrafo, usted pone aquí, add a response. Ok. ¿Cree que puede accesar ahorita? Si quiere, le puedo ayudar. Sí, sí puedo. Ok. Entremos. Váyanse hasta la clase 10. Hasta la clase 10. Mm -hmm. Y se va hasta abajo. Scroll down. Scroll down. Ya estoy en la 10. You scroll down. What's your schedule What's your schedule like? Schedule like. Ajá. Cuando le hacen esta pregunta, lo que le están preguntando es que usted describa toda su rutina, ¿verdad? Sus actividades programadas todos los días. Ok. Ahí no me aparece todo lo que usted tiene. Porque you have to add a response. O add a response to, up here in the blue button. En el botoncito azul. Y ahí comienza usted a escribir abajo. Le va a salir un cuadro así. Cuando le doy a añadir respuesta. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Ah, okay. oh, sí. Okay. Then you can write, can write your, paragraph your paragraph in this box. In this box. 
Okay? Okay. Okay. Now. Mm -hmm. Es que yo andaba viendo otra cosa y por eso dije yo, esto no lo he hecho. Don't worry. No sé qué es. Porque estaba diciendo de actividades y veo cuando estaba en otra cosa. Pero siempre, siempre que pase así, Pero dígame. Siempre, hey, teacher, que... me perdí. Hey, teacher, me perdí. <risa> dígame, I'm lost. Dígame, I'm lost. ¿Qué sería? Ay. Es como desde que me levanto. Ay. Exactly. Uh -huh. O actividades de trabajo. Así como cuenta la historia Jackie. La, el, perdón, ah, la historia sí. de Jackie. Perdón, historia Solo de que Jackie. ese lo vimos Solo en tercera persona. persona. Ay, ¿Se acuerda? En el manual, el manual tenemos en la página 26, creo que es. En la, en la página 26, creo que está. About Mr. Wilson. ¿Se acuerda de Mr. Wilson? Mr. Wilson también hablaba así. Pero sí, ya sí comprendí. Okay. If you want, you can do it during the weekend. Or if you want to start now, you can do it now with me. It's okay. Okay. Ahorita lo voy a hacer y se lo envío. Okay, then. Okay, Pero acuérdese que tiene que, su, uh, tiene que hacer el examen también. Sí, sí, sí. sí. Ok, ok. Porque fin de semana no toco computadora. Oh, very good. That's a very good <laughs> habit. That's a very good habit. Hay que cuidar los chiquitines. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. You're busy on weekends, too. Mm -hmm. Is there any okay. other thing that I can help you with? No. Or are we okay? No. ¿Hay alguna otra pregunta que yo le pueda ayudar? No. No? Okay. Ay, no. No? Okay. Okay, then, Ana Cristina, okay, my pleasure and have a good my weekend. Pleasure and have a good weekend. Let's, okay. meet us on Let's meet us on Monday. Let's meet us on Monday. Bye. Bye.